position. I'm one of the seven senators that's really been working hard to try to bring tax credit, credit reform. Well, the reason why that this bill had its genesis is because one of the things that I know is that a vacuum can't exist in nature and it shouldn't exist, it can't exist in government. That money will go somewhere. It needs to go back to the job producers in the state. This bill is designed to phase in a total elimination of the corporate income tax. That's what it does. It will promote jobs. It's broad-based, no designer tax increase so that we get away from a Leona, Leona Helmsley designed tax policy and go to broad-based reform. That concludes my remarks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee. Um, also along the uh, same notion, uh, what Senate Bill 392 does is beginning in January of the year 2011, eliminate the corporate income tax. We do that over a period of five years. I think from the standpoint of putting Missouri at a competitive advantage compared to other states, I think this is one step uh, towards that, that direction. Clearly there are states that don't have corporate income tax. The reality is 85% of our general revenue in this state comes from two sources. It comes from personal income tax and it comes from sales tax. We need people working, we need people paying personal income tax, and we need them buying things, paying sales tax. One of the ways you do, do that is to bring more corporations and businesses into your, into your state to promote that. And I'll, I'll repeat the comments that uh, many have heard me say on the floor time and time again. Uh, I don't remember very much out of my uh, college education when it comes to economics, but I do remember a professor saying this, that no corporation ever paid a tax. It either comes from the customers, it comes from the shareholders, or it comes from the employees. And uh, this is one way to get past that, to get jobs moving in the state. I think it sends the right messages to the businesses that want to locate in Missouri. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Tracy King here representing the Missouri Chamber of Commerce, and we too support the bill.